Come with me to a place of wondrous contradictions. A place that is silent and unstirring, yet restless and alive. A place of untold peace and boundless dread. Come with me into the very cradle of darkness, where those who dwell, dwell alone. The maximum security facility at Lynn Haven. A vigil is in progress to prevent the execution of death row inmate Vinnie Falco. Falco was condemned to die for killing a jewelry store clerk six years ago during a robbery. He's always maintained his innocence, claiming the murder was actually committed by his partner. Zach Coons, who was shot dead by police as he tried to flee the scene. In 48 hours, Vinnie Falco's life will end in the gas chamber. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't even take a drag off a of smoke without puking. Blood pressure's fine. No sign of any respiratory infection. It's my nerves, Doc. I mean, that's why they called you in here, right? That's what I need help with. Strictly routine. We just want to make sure there isn't a pre-existing condition that might... I don't want to die, do you hear me? Not this way, not like that. I know what happens in there. Tons of chemicals mixed with the cyanide crystals. First you hold your breath until every cell in your body is screaming for air. Then you flop around like a fish until you black out. But you're not dead yet, uh-uh. Sometimes it takes 10, 15 minutes until the machine's flatline. Things are different now, more efficient. <sighs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? Perhaps you need to talk to the chaplain. About what? But how is merciful Lord's gonna let a man pay for a crime you didn't commit? Huh? If I were you, son, I'd pray he doesn't exist. Because if he does exist, you're gonna have a whole lot more to worry about than breathing. shot we were looking for. Remember when I wanted to check the papers filed by your previous attorney before I came on board? Well, as it turns out, he didn't submit one on time concerning the method of execution. Beth, I'm dead. You're looking at a dead man Vinny, here. listen to me. The gas chamber is only used in this state by default in cases where the inmate waives his right to lethal injection. Don't you see? You never waive that right. And just because you had a turkey for an attorney... What are you saying? That I didn't have to be gassed? That, that I could have been put to sleep instead of, of feeling the air sucked out of my lungs? That's what I argued in a brief I submitted to the appeal board. I also messengered the governor... The smell of gas makes my skin crawl. Ever since that night, my mom asked me to get my old man for dinner. Vinny... The garage door was sealed tight. I could still hear the engine running. The minute I opened up the doors, fumes hit me like a sledgehammer. Then I saw him. slumped over the wheel. Vinny, we have a real shot here. That's what they always say when it's hopeless, huh? A lot of people are pulling for you. Some joke, isn't it? Ever since all those nightmares about how my old man felt in the end, I'm gonna experience it for myself. If I wasn't just so spineless, I'd, I'd chew through my veins and bleed to death. Vinny, you gotta hang in there. Just give me a little more time. Run out of time. Corpse.
Get the daylights out of me. What are you doing here anyway? I didn't ask for no priest. Oh, man, don't tell me the dog sent you. Probably wondering what I'm doing with this, right? Well, desperate men do desperate things. Lucky ones get a pipe, maybe even a blade. What do I get? I get... Rubber glove. I mean, what can I even do with this thing besides, besides put it over my head and pretend that I'm a rooster? Look, I'll be straight with you, Father. I'm not big on religion. As a matter of fact, last time I was in church was because I was stealing money from an offering box. But people change. So tell you what. You show me a little of that Christian charity and and help me get out of here. And I'll be a true believer from now on. Go on. Give me that Holy Joe speech. Tell me how painless it's gonna be to die. How forgiving they are in heaven. Well, I don't want your heaven. I want my life back. Sure, I robbed, I cheated, all kinds of rotten things. But I never killed nobody. Not once, not ever. It was my partner, Zach. He shot that store clerk. I don't want to die for something that I didn't do. I don't deserve that. Why aren't you saying anything? What's the matter with you? Preach to me! since last night. The man is about to be executed. He should have been put on suicide watch. So help me if he has done anything. Beth! Finny? What do you know? What do you say? You know, I was just thinking about you. Nothing like the taste of menthol in the morning, huh? Are you okay? <laughs> Never felt better in my life. Although now that I think about it, I'm starved. You know what I'd love? Eggs Benedict. Hash browns. Maybe a side of buttermilk pancakes, huh? Any chance of getting that right now? We'll call it my last meal. Uh, could I have a word with my client, please? In private. <laughs> so, like I was saying, I was thinking about you. Actually, it was more like a fantasy, huh? We were on a beach in Maui, and you were wearing this skimpy little toupee. Vinny, Vinny, what's going on? What do you mean? When I spoke with you last night, you were a basket case. All you could do is rant and rave about how you were afraid to die. And now you're making plans for Hawaii. Well, you just might say I had a revelation. A revelation. <laughs> Instead of seeing the glass half empty, I realize I can see the glass half full. So, I figure, last few hours, why not appreciate the good things in life? For example, great legs you have. Okay, I'm gonna recommend another psychiatric evaluation. Maybe if you're found insane, it might delay or even prevent the execution. Whatever. Then again, maybe that's what you had in mind here. Maybe that's what this whole act is about. What act? Beth, if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. Try me. Well, would you believe an angel came into my cell last night and promised to help me get out of here? As in the angel of death or the centerfold of your dreams? I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Man, you're here. 
I was starting to get worried. I was your partner, Vinny. I'm still your partner. Zack. So let's get to the chase. How do I get out of this dump? Wow, Zack. How did you get that past the guards? I'm dead. Remember, I can do all sorts of things. Signal <laughs> Zack. Always full of surprises. Just like old times, huh? So don't keep me in suspense, man. What's the plan? Same old Vinny, always jumping the gun. Well, what do you expect? Six years in this cage? Hours away from being gassed? Just like a mix before it's a fur coat. Don't worry. You're gonna be free as a bird before you know it. What are we waiting for? Let's do it! Not yet. After they move you to the death watch cell. What are you talking about? I thought we were doing it now. I'll explain everything later. All you have to do is make an excuse to be alone for a couple of hours before they move you to the chamber. What if they push up the execution? It's not gonna happen. They're gonna have guards on full watch. It's gonna be like Fort Knox up there. Don't worry about the guards. They'll only see what I want them to see. Zach. We've always been straight with each other. You wouldn't let me down, right? Vinny, what kind of question is that? If I were in your shoes, would you let me down? You're kidding. Another chance. Partners are partners, right? You sure nothing's gonna go wrong with this? Vinny, you have my word. You're gonna get out of here, and you're not gonna die in the gas chamber. <laughs> Do you really expect the governor to reverse the execution order? My client's rights were violated. To kill him without due process would be a mockery of justice. But what about those who say he should be punished for committing such a brutal, cold-blooded murder? Benny Falco isn't a murderer. He's a scapegoat the DA created to win headlines and re-election. Because the man who really committed the crime, Zach Coombs, was killed before he could ever be brought to trial. Miss Axton, Miss Axton! Eight years since you last used the chamber. You sure it's still working okay? Afraid so. Warden. Of course, it's customary to wear new clothes before you go. And the chaplain here will be available right up to the end. Well, you guys think of everything. If there's anything else we can do to make your last hours comfortable? Well, I guess a couple of girls on a trampoline's added a question, right? Well, if not, I'd like to spend these last few hours on Earth alone. You know, so I can talk to the guy upstairs without any distractions. Of course. Something wrong, Vinny? Nah. <laughs> Not at all. Everything's just fine and dandy. There was an old mine on this site before they built the prison. But to make a long story short, one of the shafts runs directly under the cell. Yeah, but the floor is solid rock. <laughs> you must have been absent that day in geology class when they talked about the effects of dampness on sedimentary rock. But I can't see anything. There's a side tunnel 12 feet down. All you gotta do is climb down there, and you're home free. Zach, you sure about this? Relax. I'm gonna be with you the whole way. 12 feet. You sure? Benny, you'll just have to trust me on this, won't you? We made it. 
Didn't I tell you? Yeah. How do we see where we're going? Where did those come from? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're dead. You could do anything, right? Catch an on, partner. All right. Zach, I owe you big time for this. Uh, I'll never forget this. Like you said, Vinny, you'd do the same for me. Like at that jewelry store when the cops showed up. I mean, even as I felt myself dying, I could sense you standing right there beside me trying to save me. Weren't you, Vinny? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Must have been hard watching your partner get plugged full of lead like that, huh? Knowing you'd done everything in your power to save him. You said we were going to come out on the other side of the river, man. How much farther? Patience, Vinny, patience. <laughs> of course, that was never your strong point, was it? Zach, you sure you know where you're going? I mean, it feels like we're going in circles here. <laughs> You afraid you'll end up back in that cell? Don't worry, Ben, I wouldn't do that to you. After you did six years for a crime you didn't commit. So I stretched the truth a little, I mean. A little? All right. So I lied through my teeth. I killed the clerk. But, but I mean, Zach, I blamed it on you because you were already dead. I mean, what's the difference? Not... I mean, you would have done the same. Well, I guess we'll never know, will we? What is that? What? You didn't hear that? Come on. Don't worry, Vinny. It's a little further. You gotta hear that now. Almost there, Vinny. Well, how about that red light? Come on, man, you can make it. Hey, come Wait, I get it now. This is payback, isn't it? This is the way out of here. The lights, the sound effects, getting me lost. This is all a creep show you cooked up again to pay me back for what I did to you. You're not lost, Vinny, and I have no grudge with you. Believe me when I tell you that. Okay, I admit it. I, I took off on you when, when we robbed that place, and, and I left you there when a cop showed up. But I was scared, Zach. I didn't mean for them to kill you, I swear. On my mother's eyes, you I swear. You Zach yourself. He's waiting for you just around that corner. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't you know? Point you, Warden, but the governor just pulled the plug on your little circus. Beg your pardon? Not only did he grant a stay of execution, but he also agreed to consider ordering a new appeal, which means Vinnie Falco might actually walk out of here a free man. He comes to us in a variety of forms. He can appear as a stranger, a man of the cloth, or the closest of friends even when you cheated to save yourself. But as Vinnie Falco discovered, the angel of death could never be cheated. <laughs> 